What's up guys, FIFA Bros 101 here and I'm back with another squad builder. Um, if you can hear me, my voice is kind of under the weather. I've been sick for a couple days. But um been wanting to bring you this squad builder for a while. It's a really amazing team. Um, it's a Brazilian team as you see as a thumbnail and the title. This is a very, very good team guys. I have one in form but he was okay. You can see in the thumbnail. But um, let's start this off. We are going to start with the goalkeeper and uh, that is Jefferson. This guy is absolutely incredible. Um, and also, I've been struggling on FIFA for the last two or three days. I hate the game right now. It's pissing me off. So much BS that happens. But anyway, guys, this is Jefferson, who is pretty old keeper, to be honest. He's about 30, 31, I believe. I don't know. So he's still keeping it up with the youngsters. He's got great stats. Um, he's a very, very good keeper. Sometimes he can be a little frustrating. But to move on, our first center back we have Miranda. This guy, um, he was the he was okay for me. I mean, he's got amazing stats for center back. And he's also uh very strong too as well. Look at those stats so for a center back. Eighty defense, eighty three heading, and that seventy six pace, which is always important. But um the standout center back was of course this guy. There's like no one can get past this guy. As soon as I put him in my team, I was I was unstoppable. As you see, I only played three games with him. This team's kind of messed up. I played like so many games with different players just because I was frustrated with testing out so many different guys. But having Luis, nothing to say about him. He's amazing. And um, for our right back, mm -hmm. we are going with Danilo. I've used this guy in the past like two FIFAs. Wow, this guy is absolutely incredible. Just look at those stats for a right back. I mean, if he had four-star skills, he'd be the cheap Danny Alves, in my opinion. In my opinion, I think he is Danny Alves uh, 2.0. But, um, yeah, guys, to carry on with the squad builder, our left back is going to be not Marcelo. It's going to be Sakita. And this guy, I believe, is like Marcelo 2.0. These these uh, fullbacks I have. Sakira and Danilo are, are absolutely class. I definitely recommend these guys. They're cheap as hell. Pick them up right now. First DM, we're going to go with Fernando. Or not Fernando, I'm sorry. Felipe Melo. I'm sorry. Um, Felipe Melo, um, he's, he's, he's okay for me. I mean, he has amazing stats, don't get me wrong. And the powerhouse uh, chemistry style. He has one goal for me. It was kind of a, I don't know, it was a, he was the right place at the right time kind of goal. But he is a good player, don't get me wrong. But this guy right here, um, our other CDM, Luis Gustavo, um, with the left foot he has. He uh, didn't score me any goals, but he was actually more of a better defender than Felipe Melo was for me. He was all over the place for me, and he was making great tackles left to right. Great. He was like a third center back for me when Danilo and Sekera pushed up. But to carry on, our first center attacking mid is going to be Diego um, I picked this guy up because I was really frustrated on what camps to use. As you see, I used I used um, Kaká, I used Carlos Eduardo, and I have Jadson. I mean, they're all really good players, but they just were not doing the job for me. So I put in Diego as a to see what he can do for me. And wow, this guy is such a good facilitator for a team. If you're looking for a real, uh, he's not that cheap, he's not that expensive. If you're looking for a pretty mm -hmm. good, fair-priced center attacking mid, get Diego. He's a really good player. And he's also got the four-star skills and four-star weak foot to go along with it. So definitely recommend him. So our left attacking mid, if I can get there, is Bernard. Um, this guy's absolute class, guys. You're going to see in the highlights. I absolutely adore this guy as a player in this game. He's so good. He's, he's really fast. The only thing you guys might obviously not like about him is that he's five foot four and he can't win a header for sh for dog shit. But he's really weak too, so you guys might not like that about him. But the pace makes up for it. And also the dribbling. Oh my god, this guy is absolutely incredible. Um, I definitely recommend him. So the next cam is going to be, of course, the informed Thiago Neves. Uh, I picked this guy up for 9,600 coins. And to be honest, he looks uh, he looks pretty good. Like don't get me wrong, with the 76 pace, 80 dribbling, 81 shot, 43 defending, 79 passing, and 76 heading, four star skill moves. He uh, in FIFA 12, I actually had his inform, and it was absolutely incredible. 
and now he's uh, in form in FIFA 14. It's okay. It's as you see, he only scored one goal, but he was um he did the job, I guess, as a facilitator. And um, our striker to include uh to close this squad builder is the main man Alexandre Pato. This guy, he's always been amazing. You're always gonna people are always gonna buy him because he just because of his name in FIFA. He's got pace. He's got skills. And he's also very, to be honest, he's kind of a strong uh, striker in my opinion. I mean, you guys can go with Diego Costa, but that's up to you guys. I don't even know if I said his name right, but look at that. 17 goals in 16 games. I mean, I bought him for too much at the time, but now he's a little bit cheaper, I believe. But he's, uh, he's still a young player. I, I hope he can get back to a big club soon. But that's pretty much it for the squad builder, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a comment. It's always appreciated. And a like. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.